This is Itado, a little slum right at the edge of Lekki Scheme 1. Many who live in the estate don't even know it exists, carefully hidden from the rest of the world. For the most part, the people here live in very unsanitary conditions, making their homes in wooden shacks without access to clean water and proper hygiene. Waste is usually dumped right in the center of the highway. The stench, sometimes unbearable for passers-by, this undoubtedly makes a perfect breeding ground for multiple social vices. In November 2012, Pastor Tony Rappu sent a team from this present house to reach out to the community. The goal was to bring order and government to the community. Unknown to them, this outreach would become the foundation for a much greater mission tagged Mount Zion. Mount Zion began with a series of outreach events, including crusades and an environmental cleanup of the community. The people, although initially hesitant, gradually opened up and willingly participated in the activities. Since then, the work has spread into similar impoverished communities. Today, Mount Zion targets inner city communities within Etiosa local government with the hope of bringing them to the knowledge of Christ and provide a platform of fellowship by extending love of God through her personal and community impact programs. That man, that leper, pain of death. See Jesus for the village when he come preach to them, like the crusade where we do. Tell of them, see He said, tell of them to the pastors. The pastors pray for them. God heal them. Only one of them come to the master. Say, master, I need eternal life. While reaching out to the people, it was discovered that a large number of the young men were involved in illicit drug use. The girls deep into prostitution, many victims of human trafficking. In collaboration with Freedom Foundation, Mount Zion provides an avenue for rehabilitation and transformation along with Genesis House, a women's shelter. Since I've come to Genesis House, I've seen that everything is changing. And I see that God is touching my life. Me, I can able to open my mouth to talk to God. I don't do that before. Just to eat and sleep. Money, eat and sleep. I know they pray. I don't talk to God. But in the morning, sometimes mommy will call us for money, devotion, and I talk to God. I want to change. I want to give my life to Christ. I just tell God that He should just do anything He wants with me. As I'm here. The motto I am inside now is the boss of Holy Ghost. Let that Holy Ghost boss take me to where God wants me to be. And that is why I am here. I am not thinking backward. I am not even having anything extra apart from where I am going. And I know that after learning this skill, and I still want to be that evangelist that I long to be. Medical support and counseling is another important part of the work Mount Zion does. There've also been soup kitchens, makeover, job fairs and empowerment events which are carried out periodically. Today, Mount Zion has made forays into Itedu, Babalola, MTN Village, Chisco, Aro Town, Mayagun, Jakonde and Ekota communities. This mission work has been characterized by outreaches and crusades which have seen hundreds of souls come to Christ and many delivered from satanic bondages and demon possession. The mission work has also birthed the Mount Zion Church which holds regular services and discipleship trainings. This is where many of the converts from the communities come to worship. The atmosphere here always electric, the people full of joy and eager to fellowship. In the days and weeks to come, Mount Zion hopes to reach more communities with the message of God's kingdom 
restoring hope and facilitating development. Together, we can make this happen. For more inquiries and support, please visit our social media platforms or contact us via email and phone calls. Facebook, Mount Zion Lagos. Twitter, at Mount Zion Lagos. Email, Mount Zion at this present house .org. Call 0801 232 